Welcome to Valley Forge and Bolt. Today we're going to be talking about our load indicating fastener calibration process and how we provide inspection forms for that product when you receive it. So, in the table before me, I have all sorts of load indicating fasteners, large ones to the small ones, max bolts to the SPC4s, SPC4, all these load indicating fasteners all get the same process of calibration done to them. A hundred percent test. This model ones, max bolts, a working model. As I turn the nut down here, the load is red on the meter ahead on the top of the bolt. So same principle as our load indicating fasteners work. This working model shows you load. Currently it's at 50%. What does that 50% mean? Every load indicating fastener gets a installation packet, goes with the fasteners in the shipment. What's it entail? It's got the certification pack for the fastener, mechanical grades, all the information about the standard bolt that you ordered. The serial number of the bolt, every load indicating fastener usually has a, a, a individual serial number engraved on the end of the fastener. So each one on the end of the fastener. That's part of the last part of the calibration process, depending on the coating. Sometimes we might have to do it before coating, and then we would read it and install it but beforehand. So this part obviously doesn't get engraved afterwards. It gets engraved ahead of time and coating over the top of it. So, certification pack, serial number, um, max bolt or SPC4 calibration sheet, and then the installation instructions talking about know your load, what you're, uh, what you're going to. So, what does this mean? The 50% Basically, if this model had to do with this calibration sheet, 50% would mean 32,000 pounds of load with this bolt. So, knowing the load indicating fastener, 50%, what's that mean? You need to know that every fastener that we manufacture gets pulled to load and gets charted for your reference. So, if you go and install something to torque, what's that mean? You got your torque um, uh, simple formula where load times bolt diameter times uh, friction divided by 12 equals foot pounds of torque. You got that. We take away that equation by installing your load. You know that you need 40,000 pounds of load. You come over to this faster and say, okay, I need 57% or 47% depending on what grade and style of bolt. Based on your order and your specific requirements on shipping instructions and where they're going at in the world and how we package them and how they get to your location, we have different uh, protection systems. And when you get a fastener, you should open up the package and expect to see your calibration package, the mechanical cert, all the certifications based on your bolt. When you're inspecting your fastener, you should be looking for the fastener to be reading zero. You should look for damage. This is totally set at our facility, not designed to be messed, uh, to be moved. But if somebody drops it or smashes it, that's going to affect it. So when you look down in here, you want to look for any kind of external marks, not manufacturing uh, uh, coating or any kind of marks that, that would indicate that you've had a problem. But if you're inspecting it, the item should be on zero. You can look at the fastener, big or small, all of them should be at zero. No load on the bolt in this state, and when you get it, it should be just like this, zero. As you load the fastener in the field, if you took it back to no load, it should always return to the zero. Whether it's a max bolt or an SPC4, and you clip on it, you should see the zero. We have 
several different styles of meters. You can see the meters on our website and the different videos, but this is just our simple handheld version. All the bolts should be reading the same thing when they're in the state not installed. So the max bolt or SPC4 calibration process is done in a jack assembly here at our facility. Our engineering department puts together the mechanical properties of the fasteners and the requirements to proof load of the bolt. Every bolt is pulled to proof load and the data is recorded in a program and it's able to then print a barcode if the unit passes and then the part moves on to the engraving process for a serial number if needed after, uh, after uh, uh, calibration. The reading of the max bolt or SPC4 in the calibration process, how do you trust that number? Well, in our calibration, you get a chart that is proven out from this process that shows you the calibration of the unit at the different percentages. We plot it for you. You've got the serial number of the part, you've got the part number, you've got all the information about the actual fastener and how it was pulled. So with that, we're gonna run a part test on this part in this machine and you'll see the calibration process. The unit starts up starts going through its phases. It takes a 25% reading. If it says yes or no is at 25, it goes to the next position, takes it at 50. In the meantime, this unit is just smoothly running through its process, and pictures are snapshotted at the different intervals. On our max bolt, we use a camera system. On our SPC4, we actually use the SPC4 reading system on the end of the fast. With that, we press the print, prints a barcode for this part, and then it goes through the engraving process if it's not engraved before coding is applied. So, how do you trust, trust it? Every fastener that we manufacture with a load indicator installed in it goes through this process. So, a lot of times we get information back from a site. It says, hey, I've torqued this fastener and it's not reading the correct load. Well really, the load has been proven in this process and the torque might have extra friction in it. All the different things that go into the simple equation for torque are being affected. Where reality is, we've had parts come back to us that have said, hey, they didn't make the load we were looking for. We pull them in the unit and they match the designed, originally supplied load uh, test data sheet. As always, any questions, you reach out to us at uh, vfbolts.com.